What's happening guys, Stabcon here again, and today showing you a bit of sniper gameplay, and I was playing with my homeboys, JF, and more than a six pack, and they can pretty much handle business on their own, and I was pretty bored of Black Ops at the time, so I thought, well, I'll try a bit of sniping and see how I do. Turned out, after the first round at least, to be quite a decent gameplay, I ended up with a pretty good score, um, and I'm showing it to you in order to offer you some tips for sniping, hopefully. Because with the imminent release of Modern Warfare 3, I know people are a bit panicky and a bit concerned that it's going to be quick scopers, vengeance, and they're going to be back, and that's all you're going to be able to do. And unless you can quick scope, then you've got no hope whatsoever of sniping. And that's not the case. And it's the same with Black Ops. Uh, anybody can snipe. It doesn't take a genius to be sniper. You haven't got to have the reaction to the speeding gazelle or anything like that. Anyone can do it and it's really, really easy. All you've got to do is be patient and you will get there in the end. Uh, first tip I'm going to offer you, or give to you I should say, is choose the correct game mode. Now by this I mean you need to know where the enemy are going to be spawning from in order to snipe effectively. So team deathmatch, um, domination, stuff like that, things where the spawns are fluid and they're constantly changing are no use to you whatsoever. If you're not that confident at sniping, then don't bother playing those game modes with a sniper rifle out. Pick something like demolition, sabotage or capture the flag to start with and you're on to a winner already because you know where the enemy's going to be spawning from, basically the opposite end of the map. Simples. The second tip I'll give you is your class setup. Now, me personally, I use the L96 with the variable zoom. And as a secondary, you want dual pistols of any form, really. A launcher is no good. Um, anything like that, it's, it's no use to you. So you want some dual pistols, or if you're not confident with dual pistols, a powerful pistol, either the CZ-75 or the Python, I think. On this one, I'm using dual Makarovs because that's all out unlocked at the time. Reason for this, reason you want a pretty decent backup is if the enemy get too close to you, you can quickly switch to your pistols, which are the fastest ones to switch to, by the way. It's fa switch to a pistol faster than any other, any other weapon. Uh, if they get too close, you can pull them out and give it loads, as I do here, over and over again, charging with the pistols out. Can't shoot for shit, uh, get taken out in the end. But hey ho, the idea was there, it was all good. Uh, so there's your weapons, and as a class, I use flak jacket, slighter hand, and marathon or ninja. Your, your third perk doesn't really matter all that much, to be honest. Flak jackets are given because if you are in one spot and they can't get to you, they're gonna lob grenades or whatever else. So wacky flak jacket on. Yeah, marathon. Sorry, I was using marathon today. Uh, slight hand is a definite because after every shot you should technically reload as soon as you get a chance and if you get caught out reloading you're in trouble also use slight of hand because at the earliest opportunity you want to get uh, somebody else's assault rifle or a decent thing to switch out your pistols with so if you can pick up uh, an assault rifle or something you've got slight of hand already with you to make that a lot lot easier now, I'll now move on to moving around the map. As you can see, so far I've not really moved all that much. And that's the whole point. You shouldn't have to move around all that much. Okay, you might think I'm not really helping the team all that much. But I am, because I'm containing them within a certain spawning area. Uh, making sure they're not getting around certain ways or whatever else. So that's another tip as well don't move around all that much don't commit and start chasing after people all that much just hold an area pick that if you miss your shot and they run away then fair enough no one sneaks up on toby and here i'm just covering the guys that are planted b jf's in front there i'm watching him i know he's got the bomb planted just covering his back and see what happens there i'm just watching the minimap constantly to see what happens. See someone sneak up behind him, take him out, backing him up again. Check the minimap, see someone coming around the back, can take him out easily. See, it's all very simple. You don't have to move around all that much. Keep moving a little bit, agreed, 
Here you go, I'll switch to the secondaries now. Go in there because I saw Jay died. Move in. Bomb's gone off, but I can take him out. Get the Blackbird. And I'm sorted from here on in. Switch out to so switch out my pistols for the um SA80 or whatever it's called in this game. Get the Huey. So, so with sniping not moving around and much, you can get the horror kill streaks. All I've got to set up is spy plane, blackbird, and the chopper gunner. Pull the chopper gunner out and then start taking it down pretty really quickly, which is quite annoying. But never mind. So as you can see, although I'm not directly running in planting the bombs and whatnot, I'm still backing up the team a fair bit. Just by holding back making sure they're not coming around certain ways just keeping them within reach and by this point I must admit sniping was starting to do my head in I kept missing the shots I know I've got that secondary out so switch to that it's an assault rifle and I just go in there I'm in over in the spawn area now I've got to watch my back because I'm going to be spawning all around me so I'll just kind of stay here for a little bit and spawn camp them last bomb's planted need to keep it going and there you go. So as you can see, just by following a few simple tips, knowing where the spawn are, and you know, taking your time, being patient, aiming your shots, the variable zoom helps a hell of a lot. You can go around and you can just you can be a worthy addition to the team. I've got lucky here. Hit markers for the win. Not when you're on the receiving end of it though. It's gotta be said. And here I get another few kills but I'm moving around far too much now they know where I am they're chasing me switch out to the sniper rifle after a minute oh, there we go so hopefully with those few tips there you might be more willing to try having a snipe on certain maps in certain game modes and after time you will get better with it and that's in the end that's what everyone wants to do is get better with the sniper rifle because it, nothing worse than trying to use them and you can't shoot anything like me here I can't shoot for shit so there you go guys hope you've uh, learnt something maybe or enjoyed watching the gameplay at least and uh, there we go before I go though quick update episode 2 of top 10 plays will be out next week thanks very much for submitting all your clips and letting me know when you've got them all that's very very much appreciated um, so yeah episode 2 should be out no later than next Friday before Eurogamer, all being well. We um, Got to watch this now. Try for the random tomahawk, and he gets it. Fight watch it again. Theatre mode. How lucky was this? This was a proper lucky shot. But again, that's what you get for playing certain game modes and knowing exactly where the spawn. You can pull off stuff like that. And that about wraps it up, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget to comment rate and subscribe to keep up with the latest additions to the GDTV channel thanks very much guys take it easy